Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy. Uh, we're looking about uh, November 14th, and we had some snow. It's been cold out here, and we're on uh, some Kentucky 31 stockpile fescue. A little bit of clover and stuff mixed in here, and we just made a cattle drive. We came, brought this uh, mob with about I don't know 260 head in here. Brought them down the road today, and uh, actually put them on this farm. And this has been grazed about 30 days ago. Uh, what we did is we just tipped it. We took the cattle across the top of the paddock, tipping it, and uh, believe it or not, and uh, 30 days later we're coming back. This grass is completely recovered. Ton of feed in here. Um, the snow is starting to melt a little bit. Uh, I wanted to show you the, the body condition on some of these cattle. I mean, it's cold. It has been. We're having an extremely cold November. I hope it's not a precursor of what we're going to have, but we've never had this cold of weather in November, but... Uh, we're talking global warming. I think right now we're seeing global cooling here. <laughs> but uh, all these cattle have a lot of condition on them, and so that's going to help us a lot going into cold weather. If you can get your cattle looking like that going into winter, folks, uh, they're going to winter fairly well for you. Um, if you've got a thin cow in November, you need to sell her because she's not going to get magically fatter as the, as the winter goes along. What that cow told you, she doesn't belong on your farm, so don't get her up and you know do all this stuff to her you just need to sell her because she's not going to make it on your farm or, or make you any money but the the fescue out here uh it's pretty darn thick we finally got some moisture this fall about when we needed it and we we grew a lot of grass and so these cattle are doing well and uh, you know people talk about the kentucky 31 but boy i'm telling you if you look down here close folks i mean we're we're in some cold weather look at the green you know, there's no hay on the face of the earth that's any better than this in this cold weather. And uh, the cattle, we notice when we, they're grazing through snow now, they're not hardly drinking any water. Uh, the water in the snow, every bite they take, they're getting just a little bit of moisture with that snow. <clears throat> so they just don't, they don't take much, which is uh, kind of nice. You know, you don't have to worry about having tons of water exposed to them. But these are being stripped grazed. We gave them about uh, four acres today. We're only going to be on here for eight hours and we're going to move them. So we're tipping it. We're taking the tops off. This is the first rotation through. You might see our winter stockpile. And we're going to leave enough out here that we can come back here in about 40 days and we'll graze this dude again. Now, because the quality, they're taking the very tips off. Look at that cow. She's just taking the tips. So is that, that young calf right there. See how they're just taking the tips off that grass? Okay, so the next time we come through here, we're going to have to make up for quality with quantity. We'll give them a bigger area. Okay, so the high energy plant tips are going to be gone, but we can still, we can still get a good grazing off this again because guess what? It's going to be rained on, it's going to be snowed on, it's going to have some cold weather on it, and it's going to be cleaned up. And these cattle are going to do backflips on it. They'll do a lot better on this than they will on hay even the second pass so it's fairly wet out here it's kind of puggy but again look at the size of these cows they're not very big you know our biggest cow in here is probably a thousand maybe 1100 pounds most of them are about 900 so if we had 1400 pound cows out here i would be sick right now i wouldn't have them out here because they'd be tearing my pastures up you just can't have those great big cows they just kill you you got to have gut you know look at the gut on this little cow I mean, she's almost as wide as she is tall. She's got a calf on her almost as big as she is already. It's just crazy. Why do you want big cows beyond me? But you got to make it on this. That's what we have. And these cows are making it on what we grow out here. And that's where the money's at. It's in the grass, folks. Everyone have a great day. It's Greg Judy signing off. And hope your winter goes well.